what's going on everybody my name is gene and i want to take the time to welcome you guys to my channel uh, my goal is to motivate and inspire others by talking about my personal experiences i thought i would start 2018 by talking about how to buy a house um so my plan for this year is to be able to buy a house for myself uh for a couple of reasons which i'm going to get into uh, in this powerpoint uh, if you guys haven't had the chance please take the time to subscribe to my channel i would appreciate it please take the time to like the video if it helps you out at the end um, and so without further ado let's get started so first things first what are the pros to buying a house why do i want to buy a house well first off it gives you a place to live uh, currently i am renting right now and i'm paying uh, around 355 a month for rent um, but with just a few extra bucks a month, I can possibly own a house, which would be great because I'd be my own landlord, set my own rules, which is something that I'm looking forward to. Second, you learn to invest in real estate. Um, I think this is something that I personally am interested in, and so I want to learn more about it. I want to learn how to manage properties and have uh, property rentals uh, so I can rent out to people and all of that good stuff. Third, you can expand your portfolio. So if you guys know about portfolios, um, you can invest in stocks, bonds, and property would be another form of uh, investment that you can add on to your portfolio. So that's great. Um, and lastly, you have a passive income. So like I said, if you're investing it, if you're using property as an investment uh, tool, then you'll most likely have passive income coming in through form of uh, your tenants who are paying rent every month. So what are the cons? Well, for me personally, my cons is that I have no experience. I currently rent where I live. Uh, I have no financing background. I have no real estate background. Uh, my parents actually just bought a house, but they got a lot of help uh, from my brother who was able to help them out. So there is not like, it's not like something that they really understand. And so I, I don't have that background. So for me, I have very little to no experience. Uh, second, I'm a college student. And so money and time come very, very scarcely for me. Uh, when I'm not working on schoolwork, I'm probably working, working. Um, and so those are two negatives. Uh, you guys might have a longer list of cons, but for me, these are the things that I feel like will most likely uh, hold me back in the future. So let's get right to it. What is step one? Well, first you have to learn money management. Um, why do I put that as step one? Well, because you're gonna need to start saving money for your house. If you don't know how to manage your money now, then you're gonna probably struggle uh, in the future while you save for this new house. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is figure out your income versus your expenses. Um, and I think uh, I'll do a little video on that in the future. Honestly, this is something that I'm personally just getting into, so I'm still learning everything. Uh, but in the future, I will do a video explaining the differences between your income and your expenses. Uh, once you have figured out your income and your expenses, you're gonna want to find ways to lower that expense. Uh, so that might be in the form of uh, calling your telephone company and seeing if they can reduce your phone bill, or talking to your landlord to see if you can get your rent lowered you know just find different ways to lower your expenses if you're eating out every weekend maybe you want to eat out once a month things like that and most importantly save your money save 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 because at the end of the day you're gonna need money to get this going um, I don't know about the no money down deals I mean if, if it was possible I would have done it but I'm still looking into it and I don't really think it's it's something that I don't think you can really have a no money down deal for real uh, to the point where you, you can buy a house with zero money in your bank account. You're going to need some type of money. So saving is important. And one key thing that I like to do uh, when I feel tempted to buy something, uh, just ask yourself, do you need it now? And if the answer is that it can wait, then, you know, don't buy it right now. Save so that you have a little bit to buy it later in the future. Um, and also so you can buy your house. Uh, step number two, build your credit. Uh, so to be able to get a, a FHA loan, you need at least a 580 on your credit score. 
Um, a Freddie May or a Freddie Mac loan will be around 620. Uh, when I recently, I did my credit check for the first time this year and I had a 524 on my credit report. Um, and this is because, you know, I got my credit card and I wasn't taking care of them. I wasn't paying off my bills on time. And so it really affected my credit score. So I've been working on it. Um, and I've been using Credit Karma to kind of keep up with my credit score. And it's gone up around 40 points since uh, the last time I checked. So it's now at 564. So I'm getting a lot closer to that 580 mark, but I just had to continue making some uh, some on-time payments on my credit cards and paying off a few loans that I have as well. Uh, but you can't buy a house. Uh, well, I, I don't want to say you can't, but it's it's almost next to impossible to buy a house without having decent credit because you're going to need uh, a loan from the bank uh, to, for your mortgage. So definitely keep that in mind. Next step, uh, step three, job security. I have my little man Trump over here. You know, you're fired. You don't you don't want that. You're definitely going to want to show the banks that you have a decent uh, job history so that you're able to make your uh, mortgage payments on time. But more importantly, uh, you cannot buy a house if you don't have an income. Now, I know it sounds stupid, but it's true. So uh, the, the more of the story is house buying is a slow process. Don't get ahead of yourself. Um, I'm the type of person that I like to get ahead of myself and so this message is really for me. It's just a reminder that if I want to get this house then I have to stay focused on my job. I have to make sure I do everything I need to do so that I can get the paychecks uh, so that my bosses are satisfied um, and that at the end of the day I know that I, I've earned my check and it's going to come to me and you know that's just another way to build job security and make sure that you have a decent job before you go out and buy a house. Next. Last and final step, get educated. Watch webinars, watch YouTube videos. I can't tell you how many YouTube videos I've watched. Uh, the Bigger Pockets channel is probably one of the best uh, investment, pro property investment channels that I've seen so far. I love watching their content. Uh, please watch as many webinars as you can, read as many books as you can. Um, also, uh, there's this, I've, I've, I just recently found uh, this first time home buyer education course being offered in my area, but I'm sure it's offered throughout different places as well. Uh, the benefit of taking that course, for me anyways, is on top of getting all the educational pieces of buying a house, uh, it also helps me qualify to receive additional aid through that course. Um, in, in which they'd be willing to pay up to $3,500 of my down payment, which is a big chunk of the down payment if you think about it. Uh, and then lastly, learn your market. Uh, it's important to know where you're buying your house, uh, what are the value of the houses in that area, and so that way you understand if you're getting the best deal for your house. Now, uh, let's recap really quickly. Uh, what are the pros of getting a house? Well, first, you have a place to live. Uh, you learn real estate investment, and it's a source of passive income. What are the cons? For me, anyways, uh, well, I have no experience. Time is very scarce, and so is money. So with that being said, uh, the four steps that we talked about was step one, money management. Learn to manage your money save money. Step two, build your credit. You can't buy a house if you don't have decent credit. Step three, job security. Also, you can't buy a house if you don't have an income. And step four, educate yourself because you're going to want to know as much as you can going into this deal um, as opposed to making mistakes uh, in the future. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with mistakes is how we learn, but if we can prevent those mistakes by educating ourselves, the better it will be for us in the future. So these are my personal uh, steps to how, on how to buy a house. Um, obviously, this isn't one of those uh, four steps where you got to go get a loan or you have to go talk to your banker and, and, and hire an agent. It's not one of those four steps, but it's essentially the foundation of what you need to set in place before you can buy a house. 
Um, so if you like these four steps, if you agree with these four steps, please feel free to let me know in the comment below. If you bought a house for the first time, please let me know what did you do. I'm trying to learn as much as I can. Um, and if you find this useful, please share it with your friends, uh, comment, subscribe. I would personally appreciate that. Once again, thank you for coming to my channel and I will see you guys next time.